All right, it is just after 8 in the evening. This is WMNF Tampa, 88.5 FM, non-commercial, listener-sponsored radio for the Bay Area. And this is the Dream Clinic. Support for WMNF comes from our members and ProCopy, now celebrating 25 years in the business. ProCopy is located at 5219 East Fowler Avenue and is open 24 hours, 7 days a week, catering to North Tampa USF community. More at 813-988-5900 or pro-copy.com. My name is Tony Kona, and this is the Dream Clinic, and you want to keep your dial tuned right here at 88.5 for the next two hours. We've got an extra special presentation for you. Uh, Bay Area rock and metal legend, the God himself, the Mountain King, Mr. John Oliva. And bandmates are here. So keep your dial tuned right here. We're going to let it roll now for you. The John Oliva Pain Special. We're going to be dealing out lots of pain for you. Enjoy.
WMNF Tampa, 88.5 FM, and this is the Dream Clinic. My name is Tony Kona, and with me tonight, we have the presence of a rock legend. That's right. (laughs) Tampa Bay's very own Uh, metal god, Mr. John Oliva, and members of his ensemble, John Oliva's Pain. And what you just heard there was... uh, from the album uh, by Sabotage, Hall of the Mountain King. Uh, we started off with Prelude to Madness, and then a, the title track there, Hall of the Mountain King. And the reason we played that is because John Oliva's Pain is about to embark on a European tour, of which they will be performing and celebrating 25 years. Whew. Since that album was released. 25 long Back in 1987, Sabotage, Hall of the Mountain King. And that was the first uh, album of yours that uh, really made it big time, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. With that, the videos and, yeah. and such. Uh, that was when we first, that was the first album we did with Paul O'Neill as the producer. Yeah. Your first co writer. Well, yeah, he was actually the first millionaire we met that was willing to give us money and not ask it back. So... He paid, he put out a lot of money, saved the band, band was going to break up, and he was like, here you go, guys, here's, you know, pay your bills, here's a warehouse, here's all this new equipment, here's this, and we were like, who is this guy? <laughs> and we just, you know, and, and that was his idea to do Prelude Madness and all that. I remember Chris and I looking at each other going like, this guy's nuts. But we did it, and it ended up being, becoming very popular for us. It, it did, it saved the bands. Career, it's actually. considered one of the great all-time metal albums. Yeah, that's why we're going to do it. Lots we're of doing fans. It. When are we doing it? Next Saturday. 
Uh, the 16th of June. The 16th, right. 16th yeah. of June. Uh, that's their only U.S. date, right? Only You're U.S. date. So if you want to hear it in its entirety, which has never been done before, even with Sabotage, we never had the guts to do it all in one thing. But, you know, we decided we're going to give it, you know, a shot. And we've been rehearsing it. It sounds great. It sounds great. Oh, it sounds excellent. You know, Jerry and Chris and everybody, they just, we all got together and we said, we're going to do this. We're going to make it work. And I'll tell you, I'm excited. Ah, you should be. I'm excited. And uh, so should the fans. And that's going to be uh, taking place at the Ritz down in Ybor City, right? The Correct. Ritz Theater? Right. right. And that's yes. the 16th. And yes. uh, you got, uh, I think, a Queen's uh tribute band playing to you know what i i don't know if Jet bozo City the clown is opening up for us but <laughs> really? I, I don't know who's opening up for us yeah there actually is a really good uh uh a queen's right tribute band but um another good band that's playing is a band called seven kingdoms out, oh, great out of orlando a great fan, band. fantastic new uh, sort of a uh, uh, power metal thrash band from orlando that's I think they're working on their. They just finished their fourth record at More Sound. So she's a great singer. They have a female singer. She's just yeah, it's going to awesome. be awesome. Well, some of the other voices you're hearing that was uh, the other guy Chris. there is yep. Chris Kinder. Yep. he's the drummer for John Oliva's Pain. And I'll, thank you, sir. And course, babysitter. And the babysitter. <laughs> and uh, Jerry Outlaw is in. Hey, us, uh, Jerry who's Outlaw. That guy? Jerry. I've and heard Jerry, of this man. Jerry, uh, Jerry is no stranger uh, to the Dream okay. Clinic. <laughs> he's a run. He's uh, okay. Jerry Outlaw, in case uh, any of you don't know, Jerry Outlaw is a very busy guitarist in the Bay Area and has been for many years. He's a member of Bogus Pomp, the Zappa repertoire band. Indeed. Which is awesome. That's one of them. And, and then he has a, another band called the Hub Tones. The Hub Tones. The Hub Tones. And he's a, another one called... Jerry Outlaw and Friends. Indeed. And indeed. he's with John Oliva's Dude, Pain. Dude, you're busy. So this guy <laughs> is a busy, busy bee. This guy's uh, busy. He's busier than I am, and I'm man, busy. Hey, listen, oh. man, that's what a, a lot of guitarists pray, pray they had to work like Jerry's, that. Jerry's one of the, the greatest guitar players in the Bay out Area. there. Definitely in the Bay Area. Well, and we did a special on him uh, at the end of 2010. I would have done, done two. On yeah, Jerry, you know, that's, yeah. a, that's a nut. We got another one lined up soon enough. Anyway, Jerry was in for at the end of 2010 for his very own uh, feature here on the Dream Clinic. It was, was the first time, first time a Bay Area rock guitarist has been featured on radio with just his work. Awesome, that's awesome. And being being able to that's premiere awesome. the, I the work it, he's too. done, and it was, it was great. It was, I always wanted to do it. I said, "Hey, man, he's one of the finest guitars." Jerry's got area. special talents, and he's a marvelous dancer and a lot of fun at parties. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna showcase some of that right some now. Some parting we? gifts for you. Yes, we're gonna showcase some of that right now. Yeah, they, they, because the band brought in some live recordings, and one of this features Jerry along with uh, the late great, the late great Matt, Matt Laporte. Laporte. Who was uh, John Oliva Payne guitars yes. for a number of years? Uh, mm. They lost him what a little over a year ago, right? Yeah. Yes. Very sad. He was an amazing musician. Was one amazing. Of their not only that, he was he was he was a special person. He was a wonderful. He was person. a wonderful guy, and uh, we miss him very much. And this this thing you're going to hear this live Ghost in the Ruins, Jerry and him when they used to do this live, it used to in Europe it used to just tear the house down. Uh, we would be playing, and you could see the, the 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 fans would come up, and Jerry and Matt would be right next to each other, and it would just be they'd be like, "Oh my God, what's going on?" Detroit Hobbit, you know, in German, you know. Well, let's give it to the public now. This is uh, John Oliva's Pain featuring Matt Laporte and Jerry Outlaw with Ghost in the Ruin on the Dream Clinic here at WMNF Tampa. Laporte, Jerry Outlaw, the song's called Ghost in the Ruins. Here we <laughs> You never know it. Bankroll over sauce. So what if I stole it? Who am I fooling? I'm the king in the ruins. Doing it well tonight. I got 
WMNF Tampa, the Dream Clinic. My name is Tony Kona, and I'm here along with members of John Olivas Payne, the Ouch. features, the featured artist for this evening. Ow. John Olivas Payne. Lots of phone calls so far. People wondering who the hell is playing that great I know, music. It's weird. It's and that that strobe light's giving me a, a nervous twitch. Yeah, but that's, that's the cool. phone lines. Uh, just hold on there on the phones. You're getting all kinds of calls. A lot of people have never heard this stuff before, John. It's uh, it's weird because I've, <laughs> I've been around here for about 130 years. I've been here for about 130 years. In case you just tuned in, John Oliva is our guest featured artist uh, and his band, John Oliva's Pain. Oh! Uh, we have uh, Chris Kender, the drummer, Thank you, sir. along with us, and, and Jerry babysitter. Outlaw, uh, <laughs> guitarist extraordinaire. And a lot of fun at parties. That's right. And anyway, mm. and Jerry, you've uh, toured with John uh, several times, right? Indeed. Indeed. We're uh, very, very adept at making it happen on the road. And it, and they're taking the show on the road. Uh, Nick, uh Later on this month, they're going to Europe for a whole month, right? Well, first, we're playing um, here in Ybor City That's on right. Saturday. The Saturday 16th, the 16th of Which June. is the only American performance of Hall of the Mountain King in its entirety ever. So the, if you're enjoying what you're hearing, uh, you'll want to go to that show at the Ritz. It's their only American performance yeah. before they head out to and, Europe. You know, for that guy who called before who was on the couch drinking the beer and going, right. who the hell is this? Well, come on out there, bro. That's and right, you'll see. man. Support the band. We are number one in irritainment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, John's got a long history here in the Bay Area. He's, uh, like I said, opening the show. He's considered... A rock god here in the Bay Area. He, uh, I am the god of hellfire. No, you're damn right you are. <laughs> anyway, anyway, John uh, started the group along with his brother Chris, Chris. his late brother uh, Chris, started the band Sabotage back in the 80, early 80s. Yeah, 82, I, believe. I think it was. And your first album was released in uh, 1983. Right, on a local label. That's right. That was, and... built out of, that was based out of Dunedin. And they did a few albums before they got uh, with, uh, he met Paul uh, O'Neill, and right. uh, their collaboration with the producer Paul O'Neill brought them, and you, a Hall of the Mountain King, which was their first really big, big album. It was big. It was and big. It was followed by two other big ones, uh, Gutter, Gutter Ballet. Actually, Gutter Ballet actually outsold Hall of the Mountain oh, that's King. That's wild. And, and we actually, and those, uh, the two videos we did for Gutter Ballet, Gutter Ballet and Crowds Are Gone were number one on MTV's Headbangers Ball back in the day there for like go. six weeks, eight weeks. So it did awesome. good. So, yeah. And so Sabotage uh, had like 12 albums out. Uh, about the last 100, one was in, about in the early 2000s. <laughs> it right? felt like 100. And of course, John is also, uh, although. He doesn't want to admit it, <laughs> but he's also associated with a Trans-Siberian Orchestra Correct. and a big, big uh, selling and uh, touring. Actually, band. yeah, it's the thing that wouldn't leave. It's uh, <laughs> We started, it actually came from Sabotage. I mean, Sabotage, act, after Chris passed away, we were basically in training from that point on to be the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. We just didn't know it at that time. There you go. But after we did that song twelve twenty four, you know, bum, ba -da -dum, ba -ba -da -dum, right, right. it was came out as sabotage. No radio station except for the local station here, Mason Dixon. No one would play it, and I we knew it was a number one. So the next year we were like, ah, there so we go. just we said, okay, let's come up with a different name. So Paul came up with Trans Siberian Orchestra. We put this exact same song, exact same mix, and we slapped a Christmas tree on it, and it was number one. Go. It was number one in America on five hundred radio stations. And, and, and a lot of people don't realize that most, uh, a lot of the musicians in Trans Siberian Orchestra came out of Sabotage. Absolutely, past, we kept the core. Musicians. Yeah, absolutely, we kept the core and of Sabotage of together. Friends. Yeah, because it was like you know we went through a lot together. I mean, we sure. Sabotage is famously known as one of the bands that got screwed over i mean they were good and we we just didn't know we were so young and we got ripped off but we never gave up you know and it's like the lessons like right all the so others, we were yeah. like when tso or trans-siberian started happening paul and i were like you know well we kept the core of the guys so to me sabotage never really broke up because i no, never really stopped going. working with them we just changed the name that's right basically so you know but hey it's been real well, successful. sabotage also Burned some other uh, great bands, Circle to Circle. Sure, yeah. Uh, Doctor Butcher, you yeah. did with uh, what? Uh, Chris Caffrey. Sure, that's a, that's 
Oh, that Did was you bring fun. any of that stuff? No, I, oh, I, my I, I, I drank too much uh. to remember to bring that. So. <laughs> anyway, we're going to continue the music here of John Oliva's Pain. Once again, they're headed out to Europe later on this month. Their only U.S. tour date is at the Ritz in Ybor City on June 16th, so you don't want to miss that one. If you're enjoying the music tonight, get out there, support the band. Hey, he's a local legend. A legend. And a legend. In his own time. In my in own mind. mind too. <laughs> anyway, we're having a good time. If you uh, wish to comment on the show, the number here at the studio is 813-239-9663, or you can email us here at the studio, dj at wmnf.org. This is the Dream Clinic on WMNF Tampa, the show that brings you the best kind of entertainment. The sign that night begins to call He listens for the voices from the crumbling walls And through the mist beneath the sky He watches as the seconds of your life go by
sisters nearing genocide. Schizophrenia, megalomania, mass suicide.
<laughs> Dangerous the stuff. Bar will be closed in five minutes. <laughs> tickets, please. please. Tickets, please. This please is WMNF Tampa the Dream Clinic. <laughs> Tony Kona here with John Oliva's pain. John oh, Oliva. Wow. Uh, phenomenal stuff. There are lots of calls. Uh, just keep calling people. Yeah, come on, keep calling, this is, man. This is wonderful stuff. It's great for me to hear how many people don't know who I am. I That's love it. wonderful. <laughs> hey, you get new fans. Cool. And it's wonderful. It's great. Hey, I love this. this and that, and those last great. two things you heard, uh, that was Festival. That was the title track from uh, that last was album. The, your last CD back right. in 2010. 2010, was it? 10, 11. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, 09, I think, actually. No, it was, it was 10. Thing. It was 10. Yes, it was 2010. Oh, oh, we recorded it 09, because that's what the hard drive says. I'm, there you oh, go. Okay. There you go. Uh, and before that, uh, from his first uh, CD release with John Oliva's Pain, Guardian, uh, Guardian of Forever from, uh, from Taj Mahal, the epic, CD. Epic that's cool. One. That's great. That's great. All the CDs great you have work. four under John Oliva's Pain out now, yes. right? You got Taj Mahal. Uh, you have uh, maniacal renderings. Uh, maniacal renderings. That's a very dangerous CD. By we the way, we call folks. it maniacal <laughs> underwear. But, uh, so we have global, you know, global. Do not and drop festival. any acid and listen. Yes, to don't that do that. One. You won't come so, back. All, you're going to turn records. into a large rabbit. All, all these records have fantastic guitar work by Matt Laporte. Oh yeah, let me go, Matt. Oh. Uh, are you uh, are you uh, in the process of writing any new material? Yeah, we've been working. We got a lot of stuff in the in the mix, but we want to get this tour out of our lives first because right. I've got enough problems without worrying about that at the moment. But when we get back, there's you know we're going to get to work and in the studio, huh? Maybe oh yeah, you can do we a got, tribute yeah, to Matt. Been, yeah, we're going to well the next record obviously is going to be dedicated to Matt. So there you go, yeah, love it. Yeah. Great guitar player from the yeah. Bay Area. We miss him very much. And this next song that we're going to do is one of Matt's favorite songs so that's why not only that but it was the song that i wrote about the, uh i have nephews in the military and they would tell me like um you know when they were out there that they would see the gun thing and it would look like fireflies if you ever come from if you come from up north you know what fireflies right, are right. lightning bugs yeah we have them here in Florida. And, and so this whole thing came to me and this song was a song that my brother chris and i wrote when we were like 16 17 years old so it was a old and i kind of refurbished it with the guys oh, that's and great it became I understand this song. that that Chris, your late brother, is still writing songs with y'all. Yes, I've been. He's stealing, the band's I've muse. been stealing from him since he, he right? since he passed. He's away. still acting as the band's muse. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of on the JOP stuff. There's a lot of Chris's stuff right. that I I, I had that we never released. On tape. And that I just kind of took. Hey, actually, Matt helped me with some of the stuff, and we kind of took some snippets, you know, that we had right. and. And made them into. I mean, Chris has been actually a part of every JOP record. There's there been go. some He's of his still music. Still your muse. On. He's After amused, all this time. and he was very amusing. Yes, so. I bet. Anyway, <laughs> you know, a part of the funny part about the whole thing with his brother's material is like it. Not, it not only gave him inspiration to write a lot of the material, but it actually saved some of the songs when stuff we were. He was reaching a, like a wall, and he's like. I got nothing for this section, and then all of a sudden he popped in a cassette, and he's like, "There it is! I got it! I have it! I got it!" There so, it is. Was, that's, so, so Chris is thanks, always, Chris. <laughs> always been writing for you. Yeah, he's still there tapping me on the shoulder. There you go. Hey, and, dummy, use this. It's yeah. God's <laughs> way of telling you he loves you, brother. So anyway, this song's got a special meaning to me, not only for for Matt, but also because Chris wrote it with me back in the day at my grandma's house in Yonkers, New York, when I didn't even know what a C chord was, but and this is one of his more beautiful... Numbers. I love this song. It's different. This is from Global Warning, and it's called Fireflies. Here on WMNF Tampa, the Dream Clinic.
try to understand this War wasn't in my plans, no The fight for freedom, liberty will Go on indefinitely
You're tuned to WMNF Tampa, 88.5 FM, and this is the Dream Clinic. Clinic, 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 clinic. I can't sleep. I've been having these awful dreams. I'm, I'm scared to sleep. Scared to sleep. You mustn't be afraid of dreams. Dreams are no more than the impartial, spontaneous products of the unconscious psyche. They show us the real truth. Tell me about these dreams. Well, they're strange. I don't know how to explain it. I, I even have cartoon characters in my dreams. Oh, the cartoon I'm characters. My mind.
Yes. Death Rides a Black Horse. That's John Oliva's Pain. And that was from uh, the Festival CD. Just before that, Lies from the Festival also. And we started that last set off with Firefly from Global Warning. You're Warning. listening to a John Oliva special here on WMNF in Tampa, the Dream Clinic. My name is Tony Kona, and we got Jerry Outlaw, his guitarist, and hey, hey. one of his guitarists. We forgot to mention the other two members of the band. We should mention because they're great guys and they're veteran musicians. They've been around this area as long as we have. Your and dual axeman is... Who? Absolutely. Uh, uh, the guitar player who's stepped into the position is Joe Diaz. He's a great musician. I've known him a long time. And he's been in the area, you know, like I said, as long as we have. He's a veteran of the scene. He's of the same school as us as far as, you know, the yes. metal scene and the music goes. And he fits in perfect. Well, that's and, uh, wonderful. And the new bassist is Jason Jennings, and I got to say the exact same thing about him. He's he's been around. He's played everything with everybody. He's a total veteran bass player of the area, and he's great. And it's a pleasure to play with him. Actually, Jason was John's very first bass player outside of Sabotage. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yes, so, it was. Once again, uh, we'd like to mention that they will be appearing at their only U.S. date. At the Ritz in Ybor City on June sixteenth, it's a, a night uh, that's going to be very special. They're going to be presenting uh, Sabotage's great Hall of the Mountain King, the entire album played for the first time ever. Oh boy! Live in its entirety, it's gonna and that's going to be good. And uh, plus some other great uh, Sabotage and John yeah. Oliva Payne uh, tunes. We even get a couple polkas in there if we have time. So. <laughs> we'll do a little polka. For yeah, that's a awesome. Polka anyway, if uh, you got anything you'd like to ask uh, members of the band, you can uh, email us here at the station, at dj at wmnf.org, or you can call in uh, if you like the proceedings and like what's going on tonight. The number here is 813-239-9663. Uh, we've got another 40 minutes to go with uh, 40 minutes. John Oliva's pain. Oh, oh we're wow. bringing it. We're yeah. bringing it. Security. <laughs> we're bringing it. We hope you're enjoying it. We've got lots of great calls. A lot of people have never even heard his stuff. And they're really, I know. Like, I, feel, getting, I, feel, I, feel, I feel. you got to be so living low. under a rock, man. I must, really, to yeah. be in the Tampa Bay area and not know yeah. who John Oliva or Sabotage is, let alone... The, the pain thing or even a trans. I mean, well, you got to be very, very you popular be in Europe. Yeah, well, do, 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 so the Euros like me because I can drink with them. And weird the way they, things yeah. work. We're, you know, it really is it's weird the way things work. Even back in the way back in the '60s, Hendrix had to be discovered in England for God's sake. Yeah, exactly. Now, how, how embarrassing is that for this country? Well, Pretty weird. It's very because I find that the European audience for music, all not just the, you know, the rock audience, but it seems like the European audience. Um, holds on to something great in the music and doesn't forget about it. Like, you know, I mean, I'm America, I'm American and I love America, but it seems like um, the last couple of generations of listeners are able to somehow just forget about the great stuff and not hold on to it as something timeless. And Europe doesn't forget. Europe remembers the great stuff and still celebrates the great stuff. That's why we get to go Another great tour. thing about we Europe. We couldn't do it in America because it wouldn't be... Uh, financially feasible, it, yeah. you know that's the right. thing that kills art: financial feasibility. Yeah. And uh, in Europe, it's still very feasible and very, very strong. One thing I find about the European audience that I've read and stuff and seen on on the video, and that they're avid, avid metal fans. Oh yeah, they the love it. The, I mean, we got metal fans here in America, but, but it, not like, it's not yeah, like it's Europe. Totally different. And Scandinavia, yeah. Scandinavia, yeah. forget about it. Yeah. I mean, they're insane there. I remember the first time I went to Greece, and I played in Greece with Sabotage, and we showed up, and they picked us up at the airport, and we went to this hotel, and there was 2,000 people in front of the hotel. We got off of this bus, and I remember sitting on my luggage for three and a half hours, signing, and they don't have any money, they didn't have any money, so I was signing, like, sneakers and cigarette packs, and and I stayed there for the whole three hours. The guy goes, oh, no one's ever done that before. I'm like, yeah, well, you know, this is cool. It was great. Well, we got another great John Oliva tune here from his second Pain album uh, from Maniacal Renderings. Yeah. This, this is one of my favorites. This one's a, a, a great tune. It's called Timeless Flight, and uh, it's special. It's so enjoy. Special. <laughs> this is the Dream Clinic, WMNF, 
Pebble! Stop dreaming.
This is the Dream Clinic on WMNF Tampa. John Oliva Payne is our guest and our feature tonight. Uh, that tune there was from Sabotage, his Hall of Mountain King album. His classic album. Uh, and before that, uh, from the Power of the Night album, uh, Necrophilia. And uh, we started uh, we started the set off. We were supposed to start the set off with Timeless Flight from Man- Maniacal Renderings, but uh, we had a little difficulty with the uh, CD player, so we went into uh, from the album Festival. You heard Afterglow, which is another great tune. But we got the CD player working, and after Afterglow, you did hear Timeless Flight from Maniacal r- Renderings. Once again, uh, that last tune from the Hall of the Mountain King. The price you pay, and you'll hear it for the first time ever live. That's uh, correct. This uh, on Saturday, June sixteenth, at the Ritz Theater, ever. in uh, sparkling downtown Ebor City. Oh. And anyway, uh, they're going to be performing the entire Hall of the Mountain King LP by Sabotage for the first time ever. The whole thing in its entirety thing. for the first time ever. John said that Sabotage never actually played the whole thing. No, we weren't good enough. But, uh, (laughs) you know, we should have tried, but we never did. Anyway, it'll be your chance to see them if uh, you make a date for that Saturday. It's going to be a big show down there at the Ritz. Uh, Their only U.S. date. Uh, After that, uh, the following week, they'll be in Europe. Uh, They'll be through Germany, Belgium, Norway, uh, Switzerland. Yep, everywhere. uh, we get to go to and the uh, United Arab Emirates. Arab, yes, uh, Emirates. Oh, yes. that's that's yeah, that's going to be a trip, huh? Play a show in, in Dubai. 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 Oh, yeah. Dubai. All right. Awesome. I'm anyway. looking forward to that. I'm going to go skiing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've got a few minutes left here. We're going to throw him in a toboggan. He's not going skiing. I'm going to get in a toboggan in Dubai and go tobogganing down some uh, sand hills. Let me tell the listeners something here. i got a, a plug here. Uh, it's summertime, and the living may be easy, but donating your old car, truck, or boat is even easier. Uh, just call WMNF at 1-866-966-3885. Or go to WMNF.org. We'll even get your car or truck picked up for free. That's right. And after it's sold, you get a tax receipt, and we keep the proceeds. It's another way to help out WMNF, your community radio. You can call 1-866-966-3885 for more information. Or like I said, go to WMNF.org. It's that easy, folks. And it's been great time here at the Dream Clinic with John Oliva, you know, my friend Jerry Outlaw, and Chris Kender. Thank you, buddy. Uh, that's going to be a really great show it's coming up at Ebor City. We look forward to it. And, uh, I rock. thank them for so much for coming in. And we look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, it's I can't be, wait, it's gonna be, I can't wait. You better bring your party shoes because it's going to get ugly. <laughs> it's going to rock. It's going to get sure. ugly. I can, <laughs> believe me, it already is ugly, but it's going to get a lot uglier. <laughs> anyway, we got. I got a tune here. This is from... Uh, Let's see. This is from Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal, the first, the first John Oliver Payne album. Uh, we might be able to get actually two songs on before we close out the night. Anyway, it's been great. Thanks Thank to you. Dennis Stone for letting me have this time to present uh, a Bay Area treasure. Uh, Thank you. A rock god, rock legend, a metal, a metal. Genius. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and it's been fun. I wouldn't go it's, that far. Nah, I would. I would. Uh, that was well, well, you're, you're that was well put. Actually, as, as far as I'm concerned, your your songwriting skills and your compositional skills are second to none. Well, thank and you. And I'm very talking much. about all the big boys, uh, t- friends that you've toured with, oh, Megadeth, yeah. yeah, all the all the people that you know, all uh, them crazy guys, Metallica, all the ones that yeah. made all the big bucks. They for could, some reason know. they they fell into the luck, That's but that they doesn't mean that they're that me, much so. better. I mean, because I, I believe that you have all the skills Thank that you. they do, and probably more. Mm. That's right. TSO is doing good you for me, it, so I'm happy about that. You so. heard it right here at the Dream Clinic. And it's been great to have you. Let's, uh, you. let's get to that Taj Mahal tune. This is called The Dark. The Dark. On the Dream Clinic, WMNF Tampa. The smoke from my last cigarette disappears into the light. Waiting on something to make this feeling right. I twist and moan and turn the other cheek. I 
wait for my moment to be free. Some music. Thank you, sir. My guests this evening were John Oliva Spain, at least uh, three fifths of the oh! three fifths of the band. John, Mr. John Oliva, uh, Chris K. 
Kender, the drummer of the band. Thank Jerry you. Outlaw, one of the guitarists. And I'm missing were uh, Jason Jennings, the bassist, mm -hmm. and, and Joe, Joe Diaz. Diaz, the other guitar player. I thank you once again. Thank so, you very thank much. Thank you very much thank for you. coming in. I can't wait to see the show. Well, um, you're going to get the red carpet treatment. Thank so. you. I appreciate that, man. Bring, really your liquid, bring your liquid appetite. <laughs> yes, bring your liquid gonna, appetite. We're, we're going to take okay, care of that. Too. That would be great. Uh, by the way, uh, if you enjoyed tonight's special, you can let Dennis Stone know by uh, sending him an email, dreamclinic at AOL.com. Uh, thanks to Dennis once again for letting me do this special with Mr. John Oliva. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, Bay Area treasure here in the world of rock and metal. And uh, thanks for all the calls. Got lots of great calls tonight. A lot of people got turned on cool. for the very first time. Yeah. And lots sure. of people knew of him and were like, just completely blown away by some of the material that they hadn't heard I appreciate before. that very much. And anyway, we're going to let them uh, slide out of the Dream Clinic and into In the Groove with another composition off of Global Warning. And this is the title track. Uh, good night, and thanks for all the calls. And we'll catch you next time. This is WMNF Tampa, The Dream Clinic. <laughs>
listen to me now. So many times.